Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model a low poly tree like this. Uh, for this what we need to do is uh, we need to look for some references. Uh, what I did was I went to uh, the browser and searched for low poly tree and I like this one. Uh, where did it go? This one. And you can see that it is swaying, so it's like a GIF file. Uh, so after saving, I had to go in Photoshop and save it as a JPEG. Okay, so what we will do is uh, we will model this. After saving the tree, what you would do is set factory settings. What we have to do is go to add image reference okay go to desktop where you saved your file and open it up if you hit the n key on the keyboard there'll be you need to make sure that it is aligned properly okay So we can scale it a bit. Actually, this is where the floor is. Okay. So we will use this as a reference to model it. And we are going to use the, as you can see, I put it on the axis here and then the modeling object is in the front. Okay. So we'll model the, we're going to convert this cube uh, into the main profile of the tree and then we will add these other objects for the foliage we have to work in uh, orthographic view so we'll work in the right view and we'll start modeling so this is going to be the trunk try to be as big as the tree itself. So we'll start from this base here. Okay. Now what you have to do is go to modeling. So you have access to your modeling tools. So we are going to the basic aim is to just use the extrude tool only. All right. So we go back to our right view and then we'll hit the E key to extrude. So extrude and then the shortcut is E. So if you hit the E key to extrude and then you have to scale it slightly, move it in place and then extrude it again so that we can extrude the branch out from here. Okay. So every time there is a branch, we need a face on the side. So you, if you see this, I think I should move the object, go to object mode and move it closer. Okay, so we will use this face to extrude out the branch. And go back to mode. right viewpoint okay extrude I will add one segment here scale it rotate it E Scale it, rotate it slightly, E, rotate it, E, 
rotate it scale it move it e e move it rotate it scale it e scale it rotate it e and then the last one has to have a little close one here okay all right so we will select this and we need a squarish face there so i think the others are quite squarish so this one would be the next one so you can scale it small there try to make it squarish same way here where it is going to be extruded out okay so i'll select this again go back to our viewpoint right e to extrude scale it i should scale on the ring so it scales from all the sides move it up i'll the branches generally go upwards okay so move it scale it and then e to finish that up okay so it's not going to be the exactly the same way as the tree is but you can have a creative freedom of what you need to do then this one then you go to view viewpoint right and hit the e key to extrude For that, I think that needs to be scaled small. Extrude. Move slightly up. Rotate. Scale E. Scale slightly. Rotate. E. Rotate, move, rotate, scale. The last one has to have a small. This one, again, we will scale it. So we'll go to view, viewport, right. Oh, it's one below that. Okay, extrude. slightly move up rotate rotate scale e Move E Okay, and what I feel is that uh, there should be two branches so it looks the tree will look stronger. Right now it has very few, so you can add more branches. 
so what I will do is go to edge select and then B to select the faces we have to go in so we can select all these four faces and then we can add we need a square face where we can add one more branch okay so you can go to face select select that face or it can this will be too close so we'll go this side okay so we will extrude rotate extrude rotate scale it move it upwards slightly there so we can have extra branches and then you can do that everywhere so let us try that here again we'll go to the edge B we select these then we'll add here Face mode, select this E, E, rotate, scale. Okay, so again, wire frame. B vertex mode B select these four and I think they need to be uh, B select these rotate scale Face mode, select this face. E, scale it inside. E little bit. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. And here. So again, edge mode. B, select these edges and turn this off so you can see what is happening. Add a line, click on the face mode, select this E, scale it, rotate it upwards E rotate it upwards, move it rotate it upwards scale it and then slightly okay and then the last one will be here so again edge mode select B to select or you can just click on here to select click and drag move face mode select. and then you can see that everything is happening in two dimensions okay so initially you're just learning how to model so I'm not doing it in third dimension but you can if you want you can try to bring the branches out in three dimensions but even two dimensions is going to 
be fine for now. Move it up, rotate E, rotate, move E. That should be good enough. All right, so that part is done. Then what we need to do is go to object mode, select this, go to modifiers and add subdivision and one subdivision is more than enough and after that we will add decimate okay and then you can reduce the value the ratio to decimate and that will give you that will reduce the number of polys and give you some interesting looking polygons there Okay, it looks kind of thin on the height, so we can just scale it up. Okay, so you can work on those ratio and then see what you like. That is good enough. You can apply it, apply it, so that's taken shape. Then we go to add mesh and isosphere move it in the front place it where you want it you can scale it and rotate it okay that's it shift D to move it here rotate it in the other direction Shift key. This one is the biggest one. Shift key. And then if you go to local, then you can scale it in the local. So we will decimate all of these. So just click on decimate and then you get some random shapes. So it looks cool. So just select a, all of these and decimate them. Select this one and decimate. Okay. We'll select this tree, move it onto the side. We are in object mode. I should be able to see. Okay. So that's our tree. Now we'll add color to it. So select the main branch, go to your materials, make it a brown color, dark. Click here to see how it looks this one new select a color that looks good select this one new this can be a little brownish it can be a little darker you can select this one and add the same one if you want or you can create a new one and give a new shade of whatever color you like okay I don't think the same colors look nice so I'll simply make it a little darker oh this is a, needs to have a new material Ok, 
Okay. So there goes the tree. You can challenge yourself and model another tree that you like. Uh, you can always use these as a reference and once you become an expert then you can come up with your own designs as well. So right now you can use images as references and of course when you model it it will have your own touch to it. So have a good one.